more question while you are talking Please. about it is, and, and this is for both of you, symptoms and how dangerous the new strain is. So, so maybe I can uh, just uh, talk about the vaccine and then uh, give it back to Sharif after that. So, so certainly, as I mentioned uh, earlier, that uh, currently, at least all the variants that we know of, even though many of them have targeted the spike protein and actually the receptor binding domain of the, you know, which is the really active part of it, the vaccine, as I mentioned, because as, and, and our immune system can develop polyclonal antibody. So currently, at least, the vaccine is protective against all the variants that we have, although there is some evidence that the South African um, uh, variant may be a little bit more worrisome, but so far it's actually uh, covered. We anticipate that in the future other variants may be uh, more problematic, but we don't know. In terms of symptoms, uh, uh, no known differences in terms of severity of illness, uh, and in terms of, but in terms of infectivity, it is clearly more transmissible, and it is clearly responsible for uh, the majority of that of that uh, the current wave that we're seeing starting in the United Kingdom and then moving over to uh, more than 30 countries in the world. Uh, in the United States, it's currently less than 0.5 percent of the viruses that were sequenced uh, for SARS-CoV-2. Uh, were found to be of this uh, this UK variant, uh, but it is expected based on its infectivity rate to basically take over the field and be the, the almost the only variant uh, by March of this year. 